gall stones. A plain x-ray of the abdomen is not the ideal investigation for detecting gall stones as more than 80% of the gall stones are radiolucent and are not detected on a plain x-ray. This x-ray shows typical mixed stones with multiple spherical but faceted opacities in the right upper abdomen. The characteristic features seen here are the location in the right upper quadrant the ring-like appearance due to calcification of only the rims and faceted borders due to friction with each other. Now this x-ray shows a very faint shadow of a single large gallstone, a cholesterol stone. It has a spherical shape and only the rims are calcified, giving it a ring-like appearance. It is not densely radio-opaque like the renal stones and casts a very faint shadow. This x-ray shows multiple calculi arranged in the unmistakable shape of a gallbladder. These are multiple gallstones of mixed type. Note the large number of stones arranged in the shape of a contracted gallbladder. In this x-ray, once again we see multiple calculi in the right upper abdomen. They are also faceted but do not have a ring-like appearance. So a definite diagnosis cannot be made without a lateral x-ray or ultrasonography. These were renal stones. Here we see a single opacity in the right upper abdomen, which could be either a gallstone or a renal stone. Do not give a definite diagnosis from this x-ray alone. This x-ray shows four calculi in the right upper abdomen. They could be either gallstones or renal stones. An IVP shows that the stones are lying in the lower calyx of the right kidney. But when the characteristic ring-like appearance due to peripheral calcifications is present, there can be no doubt that these are gall stones. Rarely, the wall of the gallbladder may get calcified and the faint radio-opaque shadow of the gallbladder may be seen on plain x-ray termed as a porcelain gallbladder.